Hi guys, Anthony here from The Hot End. In this episode, we're gonna review the TiVo Tarantula. So the folks over at TiVo were nice enough to send me a couple of their printers to review. The first one off the block will be the TiVo Tarantula. So this printer is a kit that you build yourself. It is of a RepRap style. The main features of this printer are a Bowden hot end. So you don't have all the extra weight on your X axis. You've got a all metal hot end, which is a E3D V6 clone. You've got an aluminium heated bed. You've got a 50 micron layer resolution, 150 millimeters a second maximum speed. You've also got your external SD card with your display so you can print without the need of a computer at all. I much prefer printing off an SD card because if you're tethered to a computer with all the Windows updates and rubbish coming down, uh, it is very likely that your computer will either turn off power to your USB ports or it will go into sleep mode or run a Windows update which resets your computer and all of these things will um, destroy your print and just wreck it. So I highly recommend that you use SD card printing where available. So this printer came extremely well packaged, um, no damages on the shipping at all. It costs about 250 US at the time of recording or there's an optional upgrade to give you a bigger bed of 280 by 200 millimeters, which is the one I've got here. Being that this has an all metal hot end, you've got the ability to print wood, PLA, ABS, uh, PETG, nylon, anything you can think of should just work on this. Just remember though, if you're gonna use a um, abrasive filament such as glow in the dark or carbon fiber, you're best to upgrade your nozzle to a hardened from Micro Swiss. So this kit was fairly simple to build. It only took about a day with doing other things during the day, so off and on, say, eight hour build. And you'll see that there's quite a few unique things to this printer, which you won't see on most other kits. First of all, there's only one rail that the Y axis moves on. And from my testing, this doesn't affect stability or performance at all. It seems to work beautifully. There is also only one motor on the Z axis. So on the lead screw, there's one on the right hand side and on the left hand side, you've just got wheels. Some people might think that this may droop over time, but that's not the case from my testing. Thankfully with these printers and a lot of others, they're ditching ramps, which you all know that I cannot stand. And they're using a MKS Gen, which is the same chipset, but it's a much better board with built-in protection and it's a single piece board. This printer also has optional auto leveling, which is a proximity type probe of a type which I haven't seen before, but it is working beautifully. So I've made a couple of modifications to this printer. As Chuck mentioned on his review, it desperately needed a fan around the hot end for, um, for your prints. Otherwise they're just gonna warp and sag. So you can see here that I've added the fan over the hot end to allow cooling of the prints. This will stop a lot of the mushing and warping caused by over temperature. Overall, I'm quite surprised at the quality of the kit. It was packaged insanely well. Okay, this print has got quite a few things that I like about it. The Bowden, I quite like Bowden when it's all set up correctly, it works beautifully. Much less uh, weight on your Y rail, as I mentioned before, which allows for faster printing. The only drawback is you need to allow for extra retraction because of the extra PLA that's all in the um, Bowden tube. Now this printer is really quiet. It prints beautifully, precisely. And the only negatives, if I had to be picky, was I would think that a secondary motor on the Z would be nice just because, although this works, I can't help get the feeling that it would probably benefit from another motor. I also think they should add a blower on the hot end for cooling your parts. And this should be standard, I think. But overall, excellent printer and it gets the hot end thumbs up. And last but not least, the support for the TiVo Tarantula is outstanding. Their primary support method is via Facebook groups 
and there is a Facebook group for both the Tarantula and the Black Widow. The community support around this printer is amazing. If you look at the Facebook group, you can see, look at all the files that they've actually added, the community has added. Improvements for the printer and uh, slicer profiles for your various slices, Simplify 3D, Cura, etc. It's all here in this group. The link to the, both of these groups will be in the description below if you'd like to check them out. So thanks again to TiVo for sending over this unit. The Black Widow review will be coming soon. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you wish to support the channel, please look at the links below and there'll be Patreon there. We've also got Amazon affiliates and eBay affiliates. So if you just do your shopping as normal using those links, a little bit of a kickback comes to the channel. Thanks guys, I'll see you on the next video. Ciao. So this printer will set you back about 230 US plus ship. Fucking hell.